Hi, in this video, we are going to look at uh, receiving payments. So we're going to receive a payment in full, a partial payment, uh, a payment that goes for multiple invoices, and of course, we need to do a discount. So we're, we've already created invoices. We've received some sales as cash. So let's receive payments for things that are on account. Once again, this is only going to be used for those that are on account. Uh, I guess you can use a temporary payment, but I would actually use the sales receipt. So let's go ahead and let's receive some cash from Mike Violette. I could have also started typing that in and he paid us an amount of $4,735.73. And that happens to be 100% of a single invoice. He also, we could put in the check number and just enter in a check number. All right, we're going to actually do several payments. So rather than going to save and close, I'm going to actually click on save and new at this point. All right, so in this one, we're going to do a partial payment. So this could be, for example, a down payment. So let's go ahead. It's from uh, Ecker Designs and their office repairs. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. They also paid by check. So I'm going to enter in their check number. And this is an amount for $1,000. All right. So that is actually going to be applied to invoice 73. So I'm going to unclick on the first line and click on 73. Notice we have here um, that we can write off the extra amount or leave it as an underpayment. Since this is just a down payment, we definitely want to leave it as underpayment because we still plan on collecting the remainder. All right, let's go ahead and save a new because we're going to do uh, actually a couple more. Okay, in the next one, we're going to look at Brian Cook. And he paid an amount of $7,328.88. And I'm entering in a check number. And this is actually 100%, but it's over a one, two, three, four, five invoices. So we don't have to try to figure out how to match which ones are coming in. All right, let's go ahead and let's do a save and new once again. All right, in this last one, we are going to receive a discount. So this is for Dave Duncan, and the amount he is paying is $1,568, and this is a $32 underpayment. Uh, we can also put in the check number. All right, and it is going to be for that utility shed. So what we want to do is click on the discounts and credits button here at the top. And we want to put in a $32 discount. And we're going to select discounts given under construction. Okay, and I actually mistyped our amount here. It wants to be $15.68. And our $32 discount gets rid of our box over here, and we can see everything's balanced. All right, let's go ahead and save and close. So if we go to our customer center, we know that Christy Abercrombie, I believe, gave us a check. Actually, she bought our um, in the previous video. So we had a check from Mike Violette. So if we scroll towards the bottom, we can see his. We can see that the payment was made and we collected everything there. Same with Ecker and Duncan. So Ecker didn't pay everything, but you can see our $1,000 down payment. All right, let's go ahead and close that. So when we are collecting payments, we actually don't put things into the checking account. And if you think about this from a business perspective, you don't run to the bank every time you receive a check. You probably wait till the end of the day. So it temporarily goes into uh, an account called undeposited funds. And what you need to do is then go ahead and record the deposit once you take it to the bank. All right, so let's go ahead before we get started, go to um, 
reports, accountant and taxes, and let's go to our journal. And let's go ahead and say, okay. And if you look at all these entries here, they went to undeposited funds. All right, so let's go ahead and go to record deposits, which is in the banking area. And we are going to go ahead and deposit the check from Renee Barley, uh, Mike Violette, Ecker, Brian Cook, and Dave Duncan. So the last five, the ones that we just did today. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we can see that that total is $14,826. So all we're going to go ahead and do is save and close. That went ahead to record those. Let's look at the check register for a moment. And if we scroll here to towards the bottom, now it comes in. We can see our... Here we go. So let's make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So here's our deposit, the 14826 And if we double click on that, it actually doesn't show us. And yes, it does show us the detail. If we double click on the amount, it shows us where those checks came from. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And we're now back home. So in the next video, we're going to write off a collectible, uncollectible account and do a couple miscellaneous cash receipts entries. All right. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you on the next one.